So we are going to start our SCCM installation on the server in our SCCM systems integration professional. So before this step, I actually went ahead and upgraded my SQL Server. That was the requirement. So let's say you download the SQL Server 2012. You need to go and then get the uh, SQL Server um, update, like you know SP1, Service Pack 1, or Service Pack 2, 3. Make sure you get two, um, or you can get three. I mean, I got the two. I went uh, on Google, type ser SQL Server 2012 Service Pack 2, and then I um, ran that update. So now what I'm going to do is try to run the installation. If you don't do that, you'll probably come across some type of error and uh, your application will not run. So we have the application right here mounted. I'm going to go ahead and double click on it. And what you want to do is double click on the splash screen and then you click on install. Okay, so you click on install, click yes. Here you will click on next and you'll leave everything, just uh, this first option. You don't want to use the second one, the checkbox, make sure you don't do that. Click on evaluation, you can also change this later on so you can install everything and then once you have the key you can use that if you decided to purchase. Um, accept agreement, read all the agreements and click next next and click next here you can specify the path where do you want to download the files I have already done that so you can go to your um, let's say for example you can go to any of the disk that you want to get this installed so I put my information and content files under SCCM you can create the folder and once you create the folder, you can browse to it and click next. Uh, sorry, once you browse to it, click OK. It will start downloading the files. If you've already done it and you're doing it again, just browse to the place where you already installed. So the files are going to be right here. SCCM files and then click next. OK, so we have it. You should see another screen right now. You don't have to do anything. There you go. And pick the right language. Next. Next. Here you will specify the code. This code is important. You cannot change this later on. So um, I named it SMS. This site is just for uh, remembering. So this is like job skill share. You can put it anything. This right here, installation folder of the uh, config manager. Um, you can change it to, uh, for example, we wanted to put everything related to SCCM and G drive. You can specify, um, you can use C drive, it's up to you. I don't like to use that, so I, I changed it. So I'm going to click next. These are the two options. This is the most common option people will use where you can support up to 100,000 clients. The primary side, the other one is if you have a very big environment, you probably want to go that one. but most pe most of the people probably will end up with this option. You click yes. Now this is where a lot of people will get stuck. Like this is where you need to connect to your SQL server. So if it's running on the same server, you need to use the same full FQDN, uh, sccm.jobskillshare.org. If you're using another SQL server, you're gonna change the name and make sure this account that you're installing, the SQL, uh, the sorry, the SCCM have full rights to the database, and also this computer, SCCM should have full rights as administrator rights to the, that SQL server, and you need to also figure out firewall issues if you come across. This is where a lot of people will get stuck. So we have everything ready. Remember, I did an upgrade. An update before this so now I should be able to connect to my SQL server there you go without any problem I was able to connect to the SQL server now this is where uh, you would need the log files remember we said that we, we need to put these um, we need to add different disk for different logs so here's a 
for SQL logs I have a data uh, folder in there I should have put logs in there actually <laughs> in the database I put logs in there oh wow okay so here it's okay no problem all you have to do is to make sure you <laughs> give the right names not like me it doesn't matter though we're just doing the lab environment so um, right here in the log section I have a data folder should be logs though so I clicked on that um, and then I make sure that all of my logs are going there um, and then in the database uh, folder I put logs in there so I can change this later on but just for to continue things that I'm just gonna say next so in your case database should have a data full database folder log should have logs folder um, all right click next and scm.jobskillshare.org is correct click next here you will use the second option if you know how to use the sec HTTPS and you know how to work with certificates go for that but that's gonna be a hard one so a lot of people keep the configuration to the to the basic level which is configuration manager without HTTPS and here HTTP HTTP both are fine we'll do the HTTPS later on I don't want to join that right now and I'm gonna click next and it will look for Right, right here, you, if you get anything, let's say for example, you come across some type of issue, uh, it will tell you right here. So these two are warnings which I can fix later on, but if it says failed, that means either your IIS uh, needs to be configured correctly, it will tell you what needs to be done. So you'll go back to your server manager here, and let's say for example, you're missing some option. Remember we did the IIS configuration. You'll go to your manage right here, go to roles and add that feature or that whatever is happening you will see right here. Then you just install that if you miss something and you just click on begin installation. This may take 15 to 20 minutes and once this is done uh, we can check out how our application installed. There could be some errors which is good because if we get some errors then we want to fix that. Um, and then that will give you a little bit more hands-on experience when after installation if something is missing some points that we miss maybe we put a wrong path in there and it will tell you that is, is uh, there's an issue it is a warning or is a critical error so we will fix that and then move on to learning SCCM after installation so I'm gonna pause my video for now and I'll come back once it's ready Welcome back. Um, the installation is actually over with the warning. There was no uh, failed, but there was a warning. So what we did is uh, the, the only thing I'm going to do is to go to all programs. When everything is done, you can close that little box. Um, I had some problems with the recording, so but I didn't do anything else. So let's go ahead and click on Microsoft System Center and click on Configuration Manager Console. Once you do that, it should just open up. You will see that it's connecting to the database. It's connected. And the first thing you need to check over here um, to go to the monitoring and site status, client site status, and here, client activity. Oh, sorry, not over here. My bad. So what you want to do is system status, not the site status. So site status right here. I'm saying site status and I'm clicking on something else. So here we have everything okay. But if you go to component status, I have two critical errors going on, which is good. You know, we need some errors to play around with it and see what's going on. And this is something that we're going to do in our next videos to try to figure this out. So then you guys have even hands on more hands on experience. And when if you have an error right here in these section after installation and some warnings, how do you fix all this? Um, and at this point, we have an application ready. So after this, all the videos are going to be learning on this application. Every single thing uh, that's important in SCCM, we're going to learn it, some features. By the end of this course, you should be able to have a very good hands-on knowledge on SCCM. So you can apply it at your current work or you can get a nice job with this. Or maybe uh, you'll, uh, you'll learn this just to add another skill to your resume. All right, I'll see you guys in a different video. Thank you. Make sure you guys subscribe and do support our website. Thank you.